Alright. Um, this is the quest called the Heat of the Day. This is... I think it's one of the main main story quests in this area. But I don't exactly remember. Well, either way, you start uh, you start off by talking to Julian. I believe you have to start the quest Alvin first. Um, Julian mentions I believe that he hasn't seen Alina for a while, so go to the fields and uh, look for her there. She is on top of a little hill with a tree there. I showed it a minute or two. <sighs> Man, I'm tired. Parkour practice. And it started raining like hell today at the area that we meet. And that sucked. Oh well. Still a decent practice. I'm just always tired as hell after. Okay, well, I just. I can see it in the little preview screen here, but. Um, you can turn on uh, quest tracking for this, and it will point you exactly where Alina is. Well, what's left of her, I guess. She is dead. And... Well, I can't really say it's much, it's like a spoiler or anything, but... Mostly because you find out in a minute. I mean, there's... There's literally a movie scene in this video that shows her dying. So, it's not. It's not like I'm ruining anything specific, besides, it doesn't really matter. The, pe the people in this village don't really matter. But it, uh, if you see that hill there, that, that hill, you're coming back to this area a lot. And apparently, if you want some free experience, you can come back and, and constantly fight Alina. I think you can, at least. I am not too sure. <sighs> but, um... I mean, you can't convince her that she's dead, though. That's the thing. Okay, still a movie scene. You find her. Um, I don't have much to talk about at the moment. Hmm. The Witcher wiki has got a little has it has a different background now. Still talking to this person, so it's nothing special or Okay, yes, uh, sorry, I'm a little slow with this stuff at the moment. I was fiddling around with the uh, internet browser. But yeah, you gotta fight Alina, and um, she's not very difficult. She's no stronger than any other Noon Wraith. Yes, that's what they're called, Noon Wraith. And as you leave, you get to watch Selina die. No, seriously, it's, she's about to die in a second. I wonder if this audio is kind of off. Oh, well. Either way, she got stabbed in the gut, and now she is a Night Wraith. So, there is a little problem with this. So, now your job is to cure the sisters of their curse. Selena accidentally killed Alina, and Adam killed Selena out of 
uh, murderous rage for the loss of the woman he loved. So, you have to help these uh, poor people, I guess. Um, you can actually turn in Adam. You can actually turn him into the mayor and or Julian at, at any time, I believe. I don't bother with it. You don't really you don't get any reward for it. And if you want to go into his house and maybe take his stuff for fun, you can you can't arrest him. His house gets locked. So, when you leave the um, the field area, you go. You're talking to Adam here, and he and he explains what he did. And you have the choice of arrest. You have the choice of handing him in or not to uh, the authorities of this area. <coughs> Excuse me. No, but um. Okay, so trying to remember what's going on in the game but after you talk to Adam you can you're supposed to go to the tavern and talk to Julian and explain to him what the hell's going on explain to yes I do yes I believe I do tell him that I believe you tell him that Alina is dead and Selena as well and then he he says he'll pay you to solve the problem to to take your curse away so, you need to find someone that is is good at removing curses, and you have a couple options that you might think of. Like you might think uh, Abigail, who is next door, would have any sort of suggestion, or the Lady of the Lake. Well, neither of them do. It is Dandelion, that stupid ass bard. So, you are supposed to go to him for advice on the, um, the curse. Yes, I'm very, very tired at the moment. I, bah. Yeah, go to him about the curse, and, you know what, I'll just see you in the next video. It's not that bad. Like, the rest of the, vi the video is me talking to Dandelion, I believe, so... I will see you in the next video where I am gathering the pieces of a mirror. If you listen to the conversation with Dandelion, that will make sense. See you in the next video. I think I need time to accept the thought that my Alina is dead. Geralt, how did it happen? Selina killed her, probably by accident. She's dead too. How? How did Selina die? Hmm. I'm not sure. She also turned into a demon. By all the gods, so much suffering. What did they do to deserve this fate? Get out, please help them. Do everything that is in your powers. I don't have an answer to that question, but I'll do what I can to help the sister souls depart in peace. How can I help? Bye. Gerald? Dandelion, I need to figure out how to help Alina's ghost pass on. By some stroke of chance, Alina acquired a Nehalenya's mirror, a rare and powerful device used by prophets and oracles. It could foretell the future accurately, though sometimes confusingly. Alina consulted her mirror often, Asking who's the fairest of them all? Nehalenia's mirrors are either polite or broken. Exactly. I guess Alina's mirror wasn't polite. Maybe if... We find the pieces, reassemble the mirror and show it to Alina. She'll realize who she is. Call me when you need me. So, what will the new ballad be about? It'll be a masterpiece, in verse. Interesting, horrifying, romantic. And the story? Engaging and straight from life. I changed my mind, see? Poets don't need to embellish. Life is colorful enough. Aim to write about peasants working the fields? Dandelion, I know you better than that. Not as well as you think. You'll see. See ya.